In attendance at the National Thanksgiving Service were the President, Nana Adedankwe Kufuado, Vice President, Dr. Baumia, First Lady, Rebecca Kufuado, Second Lady, Samira Baumia, Ministers of State, Heads of Governmental Institutions, Party Executives and Party Faithfuls. Preaching the sermon, General Overseer of the Power Chapel Worldwide, Reverend Kusi Boatin, urged Ghanaians to be grateful to God Almighty for how far he has brought the nation. I came to encourage somebody this morning as we thank God for the great work that was done a year ago. That take a minute of your time and never think that you qualify for anything God has given to you. There is somebody smarter than yourself. There is somebody more intelligent. There were people that had access to better things that could have caused their election. But God decided and he purposed and his purposes came to pass. President Ekufuadu expressed gratitude to the Lord for his goodness and mercies. He has given us an opportunity to serve the people of Ghana. And for that, we have to give him thanks and glory. Because we know that it is not by our might, it is not by our doing, it is not by our action, but by his might and by his glory. So on this day, it's appropriate that we renew our prayers for our nation. That the Almighty continues to preserve the peace, the unity, and the freedom of Ghana. That those who he has called to serve in government, that he continues to endow them with the spirit of humility and a spirit of service so that they can address the needs of the people of Ghana for progress and prosperity. I continue to seek his prayer that he gives me wisdom, that he gives me strength, that he gives me compassion and humility so that I can be a good leader for his Ghanaian flock. Adele Quisi, much to you, reporting for Metro News. Thank <laughs> you.